If you're planning on heading to Paladero Canyon this weekend, you may want to take a few extra moments to plan ahead. Park officials say lack of planning is the number one cause for hikers finding themselves in problematic situations. There are so many things to take into consideration when you come out here from the wildlife that's out here to the weather uh, to the conditions you're hiking in. Um, if you're not prepared for any of those things, it can overcome you you know, as quickly as, as you decided to come out here and go for a hike. To deal with constant water flow and any extra flooding that may occur in the canyon, the park is building bridges in three different areas. Officials say one to two inches of rain between the canyon and Amarillo can mean five or six feet of flooding at water crossings. They hope the bridges will allow them to constantly access hikers in case there are any unexpected issues. You come to Paladero and you think, man, this is a desert, there's no water here, but there's pretty much constant water flow through this, this canyon year round. Those water crossings get high very quickly. Um, last August we had a rescue, a uh, individual had, had thought that he could make it through the water crossing. When he went through there, the water was probably up to his tires, he stalled out. Uh, when I got there, uh, after I, I received a call from the sheriff's office, uh, he was sitting on the hood of his car and the water was still rising. And by the time I got a life jacket and a rope bag out, he was on the roof. They say the water can be moving faster than it looks and that different trash and debris can be flowing through. All around, their tip, just be cautious. The, the biggest thing we try to remind people of is uh, during the summer, especially is the heat. Uh, always carry plenty of water. Um, know your limits. Um, you know, when it comes to uh, the flooding and the raining, uh, we always tell people to plan ahead. Chelsea Goss, Pro News 7.